So, I ended up throwing it up. <laughs> and it was just, it was awful. It was just an awful pizza. And I blame Pizza Hut for this. Even though I ordered from Domino's and Domino's delivered. But I wouldn't have been throwing up if Pizza Hut didn't hang up their damn phone. So, <laughs> I am never ordering from Domino's again. That was just gross. It was disgusting. And they messed up my order. So, take my advice. Never order a veggies pizza. Especially a veggies pan pizza. I don't know. I don't know why the... The crust and stuff tasted like garlic butter. I don't know why. It just... It's weird. Anyway. So. I don't know how I went from talking about Burt Ward's Robin to like pizza. Yeah. It's been cold. Robin reveals Batman has spoiler hidden in the cave. Uh, I'm reading something about Super Sons, you know, blah, 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 blah. I'm reading something about something about. <laughs> I'm reading a spoiler that uh, Batman has hidden something in the cave. Why does John look older than Clark? Uh, older. Why does John look older than Damien? Gold kryptonite. Gold kryptonite. Kryptonite puberty. Wait, why is John a teenager? Wasn't he and Damien like the same age? It makes no sense. John being older than Damien. Hello. <laughs> I'm reading some news articles that makes no sense. Um, and my fire's just kicked on. I gotta see what, what the weather temperature is outside. Because it is like... Like, I was out for a while and my ears got cold. 46 degrees. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, it's alright, my love. I understand. Damn, it's forty something degrees, and tonight's gonna drop to, th- drop to thirties. Ah, oh, shit. And man, nonstop rain. I look forward to that. Man, it is cold. <laughs> so this one pretty. This one's pretty funny. Um, this involves an actress that I don't really like. Named Jennifer Aniston. Jennifer Aniston of Friends blames Marvel movies for the lack of good roles. (laughs) 
Less than a week after the Academy Award winning director Martin Scorsese made a controversial statement denouncing Marvel films as theme parks instead of cinema, which he has a point. He has a point. I mean, I, I like Marvel movies as much as the next person. I like Guardians of the Galaxy and... The thing about it is, the reason why people are saying it's a controversial statement is because people who see these films are like, these films have to be nominated for Academy Awards. Black Panther. Endgame. Like, everybody has to put these movies as, like, they have to be nominated for Academy Awards for how amazing they are. And, and truth is, they're just popcorn flicks. Like, I've seen Black Panther in theaters. It wasn't really that entertaining. I actually got bored by watching it. I just sat there like, this is a boring fucking film. It is boring. I I don't know how people say that Black Panther is a really good, entertaining film. And you just sit there and you can like drive trucks through the plot holes of what the fuck's going on. It's a boring film. I'm sorry. You know, and people are like, this is the big, you know, this film's huge. This film's big. There's a black director. A black cast. You know what had a black cast? The color purple. Just saying. Most Tyler Perry movies. It's like, most Tyler Perry movies have a black cast, a black director, a black crew, black producers. You know, I don't. I don't know why people are saying like this film is like the biggest deal. It's like the first black superhero. Uh, we got black. Uh, let's see. We got uh, Steel, Shaquille O'Neal, uh, Blade. It's apparently people forget about Blade. How do you forget about Wesley Snipes? Um, Catwoman. Uh, let's see. Uh, Fantastic Four. Michael B. Jordan was, you know, Johnny Storm. I, I don't know how, but, you know. But anyway. Um, let's see. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, and I'm happy people got to see Black Panther film. I'm pretty sure most of them never read a Black, a Black Panther comic. You know, the funny thing about it is, like, people are saying, like, this has the, you know, black cast, black director... You know, it, what about Luke Cage? <laughs> I don't count Lucy Liu as a black director, though. She's Asian, so. People like racist. <laughs> it was, you know, so cliche. It was. Yeah. And the funny thing about it, there's a funny moment in the film. I remember I got so many dirty looks. Besides my Make America Read Again shirt, <laughs> was the part where he goes to the tree of life. I guess that's what it is. And he's, he meets his father and his ancestors. I saw that. I was just like, wasn't it in The Lion King? That was in The Lion King. That was the whole fight thing was The Lion King. You know, Simba has to fight to take over his throne to be the Lion King. Black Panther has to fight a relative to take over the throne to be the King of Wakanda. <laughs> it was entirely Lion King. The whole plot was the Lion King. Oh my god. <laughs> They took the whole plot of Lion King and just like, we're going to make this a Black Panther superhero film. You think people will notice? Nah, fuck them. They don't know the difference. <laughs> I, I saw that. I was just like, i seen that film before. And all of a sudden, I walk out of the theater and I'm thinking like, where did I see that film before? 
All of a sudden, I get to the park, and I'm like, son of a bitch. They took that from the Lion King. (laughs) I'm going to piss off a lot of Marvel fans. (laughs) But, you know... The, but the point is, I bet Martin Scorsese saw the film but thought, like, this film got nominated for an Oscar? So, I, you know, and the funny thing about it is, like, people get mad at me because how I always go, like, you know, Stan Lee pretty much ripped off Batman's look. Like, everyone got mad at me. And was just like... They took... They took a good... Character, and they sort of like ripped off, you know... Batman. Put in... Black Panther... It was just sort of like, I, I laugh at it, because it's like, like, he had the cape. Like, I'm not making this up. Like, if you ever look at the first Black Panther appearance, he had a cape. It, it sort of has, like, that Batman look. So, anyway. Jennifer Aniston. She was in a movie uh, I saw on Netflix called Murder Mystery. It's her and Adam Sandler. It's on Netflix. I saw it, and it was, like, really, it's a really funny Good film. I love the Agatha Christie reference at the end. It's a very Agatha Christie comedy murder mystery. I I highly recommend it if you've never got to see it. It's a really good film. And I I hope Adam Sandler makes a sequel <laughs> to that film. Because I really enjoyed it. I, I I really laughed and really enjoyed the film. And I know he's going to be like in a... I think he's going to be in like some movie that involves like Salem and the witch trial and stuff. It's like a comedy. I forget what it's called. I got to look it up real quick. I I seen the film Murder Mystery and I laugh at the library scene <laughs> where they're being chased and he's like cracking jokes about a library and body in the library, but it's murder in the library or something. Hmm. Where is that film he's doing? Um, no, that's not it. I think it's I think it's Kevin James is going to be in it. I forget. It's Kevin James. And I'm not. I'm most likely not going to see it because I'm not. Oh, here it is. Oh, it's going to be out next year. Damn, I thought it was going to be out this year, but. It's called um, Hubie Halloween, which is written by Adam Sandler, starring Adam Sandler and Kevin James. The plot is about a good nature but eccentric community volunteer named Hubie Dubis, <laughs> who finds himself in the center of a real murder case on Halloween, despite devotion to his hometown of Salem, Massachusetts. Legendary for its Halloween celebration, Hubie is a figure of mockery for kids and adults alike. Hmm. It's going to be out next year. Man, that sucks. I thought it would be out this year, but... Anyway. Aniston also, Jennifer Aniston also weighed in on some of the negative opinions about Marvel films. The former Friends star... Never seen Friends, by the way. Has a has gone on to a long career of films and popular sitcoms that went off sitcom that went off the air fifteen years ago. Wow, it's been fifteen years since that show has been off the air. Huh, eh, well. And blamed the success of Marvel films as diminishing the amount of good dramatic roles out there for actors. I've seen her in some dramatic films. She sucks. <laughs> she is not... She is not a good actress. I'm sorry. She's good at doing comedy. 
because nobody could.